Hello friends and welcome to my channel the Unix Mantra. Today we are going to learn how to install WordPress on CentOS version 7 or Red Hat Enterprise Linux version 7. WordPress is an open source content management system based on PHP and MySQL. So the prerequisite in order to install WordPress are you will need a server let it be a virtual server. In our scenario we are going to use a virtual machine with a CentOS version 7 installed. We will also need a few packages to be installed which are httpd, php, php-mysql and mariadb-server. So in our setup uh, the host name of our machine is wordpress.theunixmantra.com the IP address of the machine is 192.168.56.100 It has one CPU and has a memory of 1 GB. So let's start. So this is our server. I am logged into server uh, with root user. The operating system of the server is CentOS Linux version 7.4 and the host name of the server is wordpress.dynixmantra.com so let's begin with the package installation m install httpd php php hyphen mysql Alright, the packages are installed. Now start and enable the required services. Start httpd then enable httpd then start MariaDB then enable the same. Alright, we have started and enabled the required services. Now, in order to install WordPress, we will need a database to be created and a user. So, in order to create that database and user, log into the MySQL command and create a database using command create database. And the name of the database will be giving the database name as WPDB. And then create a user with the name WP WP user thread localhost identified by and give the password. Here I am giving password as a password. You can give whatever password you want. Then we'll have to grant all the privileges to that particular user WP user to the database WPDB. So grant the privilege, grant all privileges on WPDB dot star. Here dot star means grant all the privileges to the database and all the tables of that particular database. Grant all privileges on this to WP user at direct localhost. So this way we have created a database called WPDB and a user WP user and we have granted all the privileges on that database WPDB to user WP user. 
one step exit from the shell then we'll need wordpress files so how we will get that in order to get that just go to the website wordpress.org and click on download wordpress here you will get two type of files one is .zip file and another is .tar.gz we'll download tar.gz for that right click and copy link address go to our server go to location where www download it using command w it's just a 8.3 mb file all right file has been downloaded with the name latest.tar.gz let's extract it And after extracting it creates a folder wordpress so what we will do we will delete this html folder and rename wordpress with html now we will change the ownership to go to the directory html now as you can see these are all the wordpress related files we will have to change the ownership of that all these files to user apache so let's do it using common chr all right the permissions or the ownership of all the files has been changed now we will have to make the changes in the configuration file so the the word the configuration file name of wordpress is wp-config.php so we will rename this sample file to wp-config.php and edit this file here we will have to define the database name database user and its password the database that we have created in earlier step the name of the database is wpdb and the username is wp user and the password that we set was password just save and close this file once this is done just go to the browser and browse the ip of the password that is 192.168.26.100 once you browse this it will show you the installation page just select the language whatever you want and click on continue so here it is asking us the the site title we can do my first blog the username whatever username that you want for example i will give the user as web admin and the password that you wish to set and the email address whatever you want i will give the email address as admin at the, the unix .com, or whatever email address you have you can give it just click on install wordpress and here we go the installation has successfully completed in order to log into wordpress dashboard just click on login and it will give the login screen put the username and password that you have already set in last step that is web admin and the password click on login it will land you to the dashboard of the wordpress here you can do all the activities like uh, creating a post creating the pages changing the theme and all those things here we'll change the default theme to 2016 just click on activate and done you can log out to the dashboard and in order to view the 
block you can just type in the IP address of the server and it will show you the web page that's it thus you have successfully installed a wordpress on centos thank you for watching the videos